Hello there, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be a really short and a really, really easy video and it's all about handling times and dates. So you can see that we've got date created and it's a Unix timestamp, okay? Now by the way, Unix timestamps are the best way to deal with dates, okay? It, they're just so much easier than any other formats that you'll you'll get out there, you know, and uh, this is the future as far as I'm concerned, okay? So uh, we want to turn this into something nice. Now, obviously, handling dates and times is something that we're going to be doing all the time. Uh, pretty much every website that we ever look at is going to have some kind of date time functionality. So I'm going to make a brand new module up and I'm going to call it time date and this module is going to help with everything to do with times and dates. Now there's not going to be a table so I'll, mo I'll move the views, sorry, the models to the trash but there's not going to be a views file either so I'll mu move this also to the trash, right? And time date is going to just help us to easily deal with, funnily enough, times and dates, okay? So if we scroll down, uh, let me just see actually, I'm on the wrong website, I'm in the wrong website. <laughs> um, here we are, time date, okay. So I'm just going to rename this to time date and this is going to make life so much easier for you. I'll tell, tell you that for sure. This is going to make life very easy. So there we go. It's time date. Now, what's time date going to do? Well, like I was saying, it's going to help with situations like this. And in fact, anything to do with times and dates, anything at all, we're going to have it in this module here. And we're going to be able to transplant this from one website to another. And it's going to make life very easy. Now, I have a time date module uh, on another one of my websites, the Insider Club, and it looks like a dog's dinner, the code's all over the place, this is so embarrassing, right? But there's actually a few very handy functions here, and this is one that's extremely handy, so I'm going to paste this across here, and uh, I'll show you what this does, okay? Um, let me just uh, tidy up a little bit, shall we? Shall we tidy up a little bit? I hope I don't break something here. Right, that looks cool. Um, and let's uh, move away from the old-fashioned formatting. Right, so get nice date. What does this do? It takes in a Unix timestamp and we pass in a format and then it returns the date in a nice format. So here are some of the formats. We've got full and then I give you an example of what that looks like. We've got cool, look, Friday the 18th, shorter, mini, old school. I say old school because when I was at primary school, this is how we used to write the dates on our little jotters, you know. Then we've got um, date picker. I don't know why that says old school here. Uh, actually, they're kind of similar. Anyway, I'm not going to mess with this. Uh, I might as well, just for the sake of consistency. Anyway, you can see that we've got different formats for the dates, okay? And that's going to be really cool. It's going to come in handy. Now, look, while I'm here, is there anything else that we could use? Uh, make timestamp. Yeah, these are kind of uh, quite handy as well. So I'm going to copy these across. We're not going to use them today, folks, but we probably will use these in the future. So if you've ever seen one of those little... Uh, JavaScript date picker calendars. What this one does is it takes the uh, one of those, like when you select a date, and it turns that into a timestamp. So it's very handy, and and it's the kind of thing that's really just going to help in the future. Here's one here that generates a timestamp if you just fire in a day, a month, and a year. You know. Um, Anyway, I've got a whole bunch of these, but I'm just going to use these three for the moment, and I'm going to upload this this entire module to the Insider Club website, okay? So give your fingers a break. Take a trip to the Insider Club, uh, Cider, and I'll give you uh, this module here, time date. And when you're doing anything to do with times and dates, just use this. Now, if we go back to our manage page here, you can see that we're looping through everything and we have date made here coming out onto the screen. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to say this load module time date, okay? And then I'm going to say uh, date created equals uh, this time date get nice date and then it's going to be row date made and I'm going to go for the format cool. It's kind of a cool format, you know? And then right in here, I'm just going to say date created. I'm going to save, refresh, and as you can see, the date created now looks fantastic. Okay, so that's how we handle times and dates. I'll see you in the next video.